Hi everyone, welcome to Take A Review. In a recent video, I showed you how to resize your bootcamp partition to create additional space by taking space from your Mac OS. Now, what if you decided or realized that you've taken too much space and want to assign some space back to Mac OS? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing we need to do, need to do is make sure everything has been backed up. Any important documents, they're all nice and safe. Then we want to download the mini tool partition wizard. I'll leave links to that in the description below and that's free to do. So the first thing we need to do, we need to be in Windows and we're going to resize our bootcamp partition first. Now to do this, all we need to do is go to move resize, select our new partition size. Okay, that and then apply those changes. Minitool is going to want to restart your Mac. So go ahead and restart and you're going to see a screen very similar to this as it makes all the changes needed to free up some space. Now that can take a few minutes and once that's done, it's going to re reboot back into Windows. Now when we're back into Windows, we go back into the mini tool. We can see we've got our unallocated space. Now the problem here is it's right at the end. And what we need to do, we need to move that between Bootcamp and your Mac OS. Otherwise, Mac OS just won't see it. So we're going to quickly restart into Mac OS, go into Disk Utility, look at the partition, and of course what we can do, we can actually see the new size of our boot camp, but there's no sign of that unallocated space. So what we need to do is go back and we simply need to move our boot camp partition along so that the unallocated space sits in between bootcamp and your Mac partition. So go ahead and OK that. We need to apply those changes. And then restart our Mac. Again, we're going to see a very similar screen to this. Take a few minutes. Once rebooted, we actually want to go back into our Mac partition this time. And if we go into disk utility, Back into partition, we can now see our free space, but we've still got another problem. We actually can't, for some reason, increase the map partition to take up and use this free space. It basically, disk utility just won't allow it. So, to claim this unallocated space back for your Mac partition, we actually need to go into terminal to do this. Now it's pretty simple and only a few commands and we'll have this unallocated space ready to use back in Mac. Now if we type in df space minus h, that's just gonna list all the volumes that we've got. And then disk util apfs list. And what we need to do is actually find the name of our actual physical store. So if we scroll up a bit, I see right at the top we've got physical physical store disk zero s2 okay so that might differ differ for you but in my case next we type in sudo disk util apfs resize container disk zero s2 space zero the password it's going to ask is obviously your mac password and there we go this is now going to resize your Mac container to use that unallocated space. Now this only took a few, you know sort of a few seconds, and if we go back into disk utility, back into partition, we can see that unallocated space or that free space has been sort of resized back into your Mac OS. Now I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all next time.